Hi, Deidre here from Our Upcycled Life and welcome to my channel. Today we're transforming trash into treasure. In this video I'm going to show you six amazing upcycling projects using thrift store finds that I've upcycled. All of these projects are quick and easy from old frames to candlestick holders. I'm going to show you how you can turn common thrift store finds into beautiful pieces for your home and you won't want to miss any of these creative ideas. I also want to thank Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. We've got lots of work. Let's get started. Here's my collection of thrift store finds. These are all gonna be really fun upcycling and all of these things that I have here today are easy to find at the thrift store and I am going to upcycle them all today. None of these projects are gonna take a lot of time. They're all gonna be really easy to put together but they're gonna turn out absolutely beautiful and I'm excited to share them with you today. First up is these candlestick holders. We're gonna tint these candlestick holders. This is such a fun technique. I have a full tutorial. I'll put the link down below in the description if you want all the measurements and uh, see how to do this. It's basically, I mixed together a recipe of homemade Mod Podge, adding some food coloring, and I'm doing a brown color because I want these to look like that old antique amber and I'm putting one coat on each of these candlesticks and then I'm gonna let it dry. I'm wearing gloves because the food coloring will stain your hands and I don't wanna have that happen. Speeding up the process, I'm using my heat gun to dry each coat in between and I'm putting two coats on with a brush. Now I've got two coats of that stain on this glass. The third coat, I like to use a sponge and I'm just gonna sponge all around. It kinda of gives a vintage glass look I kind of like the look of the little air bubbles in it. Once I have both of them covered, I'm gonna set them aside and let them dry. Now I didn't do the back side, I only did the top. And this is not permanent. This will be able to be washed off with some hot soapy water. Uh, so you can change it up for the season. I picked up this bag of candles at the thrift store. I love the beeswax ones that I found in there and added them to the candlestick holders. What do you think? I absolutely love them and this technique is so easy. This will be perfect for right now and then maybe closer to Easter, I can switch these up and do it in a pink. So many possibilities. Everything that you find does not have to be really upcycled. You can just repurpose it for something else. This is the case with these drink coasters. I like them just as drink coasters, but I was thinking, what else can I do with them? Well, I can put them under a vase just kind of makes it look a little bit more expensive. I can put it underneath a plant, just kind of elevates it a little bit. I love the look of this one. Um, you can also put a magnet on the back of it, turn it into a fridge magnet, and it's kind of that boho feel that looks really great on a fridge. So you can kind of just think outside of the box instead of just using it as a coaster. Think of other ways that you can put this into your home and make it beautiful. And if all those fails, put your coffee on it. I love this next up cycle. I found these little um, finials and they have little screws in the bottom there, probably on some sort of piece of furniture, but I had a really great idea. I picked up this bunt pan long time ago. I had it in my stash and I thought, you know what? That's gonna look beautiful on top of that. Got out my E6000, added it around the edge and put it into that bunt pan. I'm gonna set it aside, let it dry overnight so it's nice and sturdy. And it's going to turn into a really beautiful little display bowl. You can put flowers in it, you can put um, any kind of ornaments, seasonal ornaments, or you can just use it for your fruit and vegetables to display on your kitchen counter. I love when I can find projects to upcycle that you don't have to paint and you don't have to do any great big DIYs on them. You can just put one into the other and create something beautiful. Next upcycle that was super simple is I had this old frame that I found at the thrift store. I love the blue. I absolutely love it. But I want to put one of my prints in it. So I've got some coffee stain here that I've got just a piece of computer paper. I put some instant coffee and hot water in a little squirt bottle sprayed it on this paper. This is a super fast, easy way to coffee stain paper. Get my heat gun, dry it, and this that fast, you've coffee stained some paper. I'm gonna press it a little bit so it's nice and fast, so it can go through my inkjet printer. And this is my butterfly um, 
ephemera that I've got in my Etsy shop. If you want to use this for any of your crafting projects, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm just cutting it to size to fit inside of my frame. I cleaned my glass with a little bit of Windex, put it back in the frame, and I'm just going to take my print and put it inside the frame. And once you see this all put together, the blue that was in the butterflies just kind of complements the blue in the frame. Absolutely love it and especially with that music background. Again, you don't have to be all fancy and do graphic transfers all the time. You can just print off something, throw it in a frame, and you've got beautiful, affordable home decor. Next upcycling project was this candlestick wall holder. I had some black spray paint. I just took it outside. I gave it a coat of the black spray paint, and I had this plaque um, that I found at the thrift store. It's originally from the dollar store. I, got, I think it was a dollar. And I'm gonna decoupage a piece of my scrapbooking paper on top of that. Now, when I find I have thick paper that I wanna decoupage with, it doesn't lay as nice. So I have this little hack of thinning out your paper before you decoupage. So I'm just laying, just packing tape on the back of that paper taking off that extra layer and it'll take your scrapbooking paper down to almost a napkin um, feel. So I'm just going to put some Mod Podge mat all over this plaque and then we're going to lay that piece of scrapbooking paper that I've made thinner with the packing tape and it fit best on an angle. So I wanted to make sure that I had it exactly where I want it, press it down into that Mod Podge making sure that it's adhered really well, pressing right around the edges, and then I'm gonna set it aside and let it dry completely. Pear Eyewear is a cool new brand of eyeglasses that's changing the game. They have lots of different styles to choose from and their glasses are really great quality, but they don't cost too much. Plus they let you customize your glasses to make them unique. But the really special thing about Pear Eyewear is that their glasses have a magnetic top frame that you can change out whenever you want. So you can switch up your look anytime. Once you try Pear Eyewear, you're never gonna wanna wear boring old glasses again. I'm super excited to be partnering with Pear Eyewear in this video. As someone who wears glasses every day, I know how important it is to have frames that not only look good, but are also comfortable. And that's why I love Pear Eyewear. With Pear Eyewear, you have the ability to switch top frames in seconds, allowing you to create a whole new look without having to buy a whole new pair of glasses. And I mean, how cool is that? And the best part is the frames are so easy to switch out. You just pop off the top frame, snap on the new one, it's that simple. And I chose the clear base frame with my prescription lenses and this top frame with a pop of color. And ordering from their website was so easy. They have a virtual try on feature that lets you see how the frames will look on your face. So why pair eyewear? Well, for starters, I love how affordable they are compared to other glasses pricing. Plus the ease of purchasing online versus in-store was a huge plus for me. And let's not forget about their amazing customer service and their a pair for a pair program where they provide glasses to children in need. Overall, I'm just really impressed with Pear Eyewear and I'm so happy with my new glasses. And I have some great news for you guys. If you click the link in the description box, you can get 15% off your first pair. So check them out and let me know which frames you end up getting. And a big thanks to Pear Eyewear for sponsoring today's video. Okay, that's completely dried. I've just got a little piece of sandpaper and I'm just sanding all around the edges and it's gonna leave a little bit of a distressed edge and clean off all of that extra scrapbooking paper. If you're enjoying my content, take a moment right now and hit the like button. Your support means the world to me and it helps my channel reach more people who will enjoy my videos. And with your help, I can continue to create fun and creative upcycles and turning trash into treasures. And I just wanna thank you for being a part of my YouTube journey here on my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Now that I have all that extra scrapbooking paper sanded away, I sealed it up with some polyacrylic sealer. I added the candlestick holder onto it and one of the candles from that bag that I picked up at the thrift store. What do you think? I really like it and I think it pulled together really nice. Okay, next up cycle, this mirror was a disaster. It looks like somebody decided to paint over the mirror. 
Uh, so I'm just taking my scraper. I'm being really careful not to scratch the mirror underneath, but it was coming off really easy. So scraping away, taking my time, and I think I'm gonna be able to upcycle this really easy. Hi guys. And now that I have all of that paint, I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of sandpaper. This is an 80 grit, and I'm just gonna go over and distress any of the high edges. This is all that this needed. It just needed to have the mirror cleaned up and the outside kind of distressed a little bit. And easy thrift store find that I think upcycled beautifully. So I hope you enjoyed all of today's upcycled thrift store finds that were all done really quick, really easy, all in one day and I hope you found lots of inspiration and if you did I'm sure you'll love these next videos thanks for watching have a great day and we'll see you in the next video